I quite admire uh, Kinnett batting it all away and saying oh, it's, mm. it's, 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 it's those, but the, if we get friendly with those European people, this problem will disappear. That is crap with a capital K, to be honest. Mm. The re- reality was that if Rwanda had happened, nobody is coming across the channel. Nobody mm. is coming across the channel to land here to end up 4,000 miles away, in a, in a, possibly back towards the area that they may have come from. We have a massive problem the whole of the Middle East and much of Africa wants to head to Western Europe. The French, uh, Germans, nobody is going to help us out. My own argument would be we should take some of our troops and we should head towards France and say we are going to actually invade the northern sands of France and shoot dead the smugglers. What? I, I would be much more in favour of some kind of violent answer. We are... I, the idea That's that a, a Kinnock... extreme. No, no. The, I, well, the alternative... Remember, Kinnock actually got some of this right. 30-plus thousand here, costing us 4 million a day, double that, because 8 million they're not a day, 67,000, multiply that by 10. The whole country is going to sink. We think we've got problems about housing now. You Kelvin. think we've got problems about education. Well, you say all this, you yourself were saying, look at the way that it's doubled we've and got, trebled oh, and quadrupled. Oh, right. So what are you going to do? We've got oh, you're, going to, you're going to be one of those that says, oh, please don't come. Is there any way I can help you? We, what are on. you going oh, to do? But what we, are you going to do, Michelle? You asked Stephen I'll what he you. was going to do. Luckily would you do? for you, I'm quite a smart woman and I've no, got a little Well, plan. that's to be tested. I'll come tell on. you what I would do. I would do a few different things. Right? I'd say, first and foremost, this is an emergency situation. It so is then a I would crisis. Try, yeah, a crisis. So then I would look at what kind of law, there must be something somewhere, some kind of legal thing that I could put in place that overlays on all of what I would call business as usual law. So all of this, court of this and court of that, that operates on your standard daily things. So that's point one. I'd be investigating that over there. In the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'd have people on the beaches in France with massive megaphones. You, if you come across, if you attempt to get make this crossing, you will not be granted asylum. No ifs, buts or maybes. This is not a recognised route. You will not be granted asylum. So I'd make sure that that message was being communicated loud and clear in whatever language it needed to be communicated in point one. Then I would probably explore some form of turn back. I would look at, like what they did in Australia with Operation Sovereign Borders. I would make and sure I've explored work. that. Well, it did for a period of time. I would have some kind of turn back operation uh, and I would probably have the Navy uh, turn, ba- turn the them border. back where? Towards France. France. Push them back you onto the beaches of France. You yeah. cannot what, do that. What with the French pushing them towards us? You-